Hello, 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 my friends. We're back for another episode of Stardew Valley, our life on the farm. Today, we're going to be fishing. Because fish give us lots and lots of money, right? So if we fish lots and lots of fish, we get lots and lots of money, right? Right. Uh, I really feel like I should invest in like a face cam or something because I make the dumbest faces while I play video games. But then again, that would break the idea of, you know, anonymity, along with the fact that I don't want to buy stuff. An anchor. Willie, I think you left something behind, buddy. Go. Cool. Yeah, really, I think you left a few things. Oh boy, what's this one gonna be? I missed. I missed. Trilobite. Yoink, yoink. Let me thank you. You know what? I'm gonna fish over here. You're wondering, why are you fishing over here? Mm -hmm. Like, why not? Am I not allowed to? I don't see the problem with it. There we go. I'm gonna be kind of careful though, because some of the fish over here are kind of strong. Because, I mean, this is actually where the legend is. Flounder. I'm sorry, Ariel. I think I just took your buddy. You know, the one thing I don't like about recording while I'm laying on my bed. So I'm like laying on it while like dangling off the edge. Okay, we found the legend. I thought we could only catch him off the right side, not the left. What? I didn't know that was possible to uh, find the legend. Yeah, that's the thing. This area is used for two things, prime or technically three, I guess. One for the legend, because he's here. Nice, Calabia. Oh, sweet. A single bait. Fine. Just don't be the legend, and I'll be happy. It's gonna be him, isn't it? It is gonna be him. <sighs> now I'm gonna go fish somewhere else. This area is used for three things. It's got a large amount of ocean forageables, so like uh, the coral and all that. When it's raining, the love guru, the guy who gives, I think it's like the conch, which is basically how you propose in Stardew. He sells that there in the rain. Along with... There we are. Give it to me. Not really what I was intending, but sure. Yeah, that and also the legend. Obviously, as we saw him rip past our line twice. Yeah. He's a bit of a tough fish. We still got in the range of it, though. Yeah. You can only find the legend there. During summer. There are, I think, four legendary fish you can find. Mm -hmm. That's not counting, like, the rare fish from, like, the ghost cavern, the ghost fish, the lava eagle. I mean, they're tough on their own rights, too, but it's, like, a different kind of tough, you know? Oh. Well, let's go say hey to Willie. See if we can't buy ourselves some of them, uh. Whatchamacallums. Let's buy a few baits, actually. 20 sounds good for right now. Let's get a. Oh, it's almost a thousand. 
sure. Because I'll show you the difference between it. Don't worry, we're gonna sell all this junk we picked up. So that made our money back, the money we just spent on all that. Okay, so, before I waste a good bait, I'm gonna show you this. So, you're about to see the current size of our the fish catch thing. Our real real. The green bar. Okay, fine, you know what? I'll just go ahead and add this on. Okay, so. You're gonna notice something first. Well, after we catch a fish. Come on, but you're supposed to make it faster. Thank you, finally. See how big it is, right? It's about... It's about... One and a half the size of the normal... Like, the real ID thing on the side. Right? It's about one and a half width from the sidebar. Because you see how it had little rungs on it. Now... If I've remembered right, it doubles it. You see? Now we are almost two whole things. Which, it's a hard thing to think. Like, would you prefer to have it unreal less or have more room? Which, uh... Ah, stupid. But here's something I personally like the most. I like to have the lead thing on because it drops faster and it kind of like, it doesn't bounce. So if I hit that bottom, it doesn't go. It's kind of annoying because sometimes, like, no, don't stop it. Oh, I hate you, fish. Because it's like, personally, I think the trap bobber, the hooked one, is the best just because it slows down the rate that it stops reeling whenever you uh, are off center, right? Because it's like this doesn't make too much of a noticeable difference, and ooh, weapon speed. Sure, I'll put that on. rings. Let's go. But I wish there were rings for everything in this game, which I know there's like a ring crafting thing, or like it's a thing where you can upgrade the rings that you have in your weapons by like adding things to it, which I think is pretty neat. But see, our thing is now about two, when it was originally like one and a half. Which is pretty decent, I mean, it's nothing to gawk at, but it's like, not horrible. No, stop it. But I still think there's a, no, I still think there's a better one. Stop bouncing. Stop bouncing, please. You gonna drop any second? I knew it. You gonna drop again? Not bouncing so much. Finally, what are you? Hoverfish. That's actually one of the rare fish I think that we can turn in. It also is worth a ton of money though. So it's like, do we turn that in? I think we should. I think there is a better fishing thing though. Better fishing tackle. I'm fairly sure there's another fishing tackle that's better than both this one and the trap. Because I think it actually like stays on the fish for you almost. Like if you you can like keep up with a fish, like if it like goes down, it'll like drag your thing down a little bit with it. To like try and keep you on track.
which is just amazing because it like makes getting fish that jump around a lot like the puffer fish the legendary fish ah, puffer fish and also fun fact if you toss your line closer to you you will get smaller class fish you still get like iridium quality and all that but it's like you're bound like with where I cast, this is probably going to be a mullet and anchovy or sardine. See, mullet. Iridium, probably. Like, sure. The mullet might not be the most expensive fish, but I'd rather catch multiple iridium mullets, anchovies, and sardines rather than, like, the occasional, like, silver... Whatchamacallums. Like, I'd rather catch multiple iridiums rather than, like, one or two. You see, here's another snapper, a red mullet. Probably iridium. Why am I getting classless? Hold on. There we go. Maybe I'm just getting unlucky. I mean, anyway, we still got plenty of fish today. Okay. Oh, stop bouncing, you little jerk. We almost had you, too. Thank you. Second puffer fish, sweet. Also, yeah, you can just do like this. Because this is about like the place you could originally cast. Really weird to think about how far we've grown. This is probably like a flounder. Yeah, definitely flounder. It just kind of depends on where you cast, I think, because... Actually, where are all, like, the anchovies and sardines? Hmm. Huh. I guess I'll take this for right now. Hey, Willie, I'm gonna sell you all the fish I caught. So I can buy, uh... I'll get two of those because these should easily be able to pay. So I was at four, I just spent a thousand. Let's go for. Made a profit. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And we even still have a pufferfish. Personally, I think the trap bobber is one of the best. But let me actually check to see if there is another one that I'm just forgetting about. Which it is very possible. You guys already know I do not have the best of memories. Okay, yeah, this way. Okay. Why were you Russian? Oh, wrong way. Caroline. Uh. Ah. Uh, you like gold? No, no, no. You know, if someone walked up to me in real life and offered me literal gold, I'd be quite happy with that. I'd quite enjoy that person after that. The no, no, no? It's a little much, don't you think, Caroline? Well, anyway, let's check the... care about the actual fish that are there. Oh yeah, I forgot, you can actually find blobfish. Spookfish? Oh, the midnight game! I forgot about that. And then there's all the other fish. And there's still so many fish that I've, like, never seen because they're, like, 
different locations and times, and I just don't really care enough to hunt them. Like the anglers, the hardest night fish, crimson fishes. Crimson fish, everyone knows him. And you got the legend, glacier fish, mutant carp. Actually, no, wait, I think the one we were failing to catch was the crimson fish. Okay, I, I don't care about all these. I want to see these things. I don't care about that either. What? What about the fishing thing? Fishing level. Thank you, finally. Okay, so I am at level 7, I think, currently. Barbed hook, I think, is the one I'm thinking of. Seafoam pudding is also amazing, which is beautiful. Also, fun fact, angler is the best one you can get once you reach level 10. Seafoam pudding is amazing. Let me check this. There's the magnet, which um, increases the chance of finding treasure. Okay, not too bad, but not really great either. The barbed hook makes your catch more secure, causing the fish bar to cling to your catches. Slow and weak fish is what it's recommended on, but it can be used on all of them. And also, I need to go because yeah, I need to use the restroom, so I'm gonna go back. It's already close to end of the day, so I mean, it's not gonna be hurting anyone. Gunther was probably waiting for us to leave. Uh. But yeah, sorry, I need to use the bathroom. Because I had a coffee, you know, I've already mentioned I had Starbucks earlier. And, oh man, the feeling hits you, if you don't know. If you've never had Starbucks, or any like really caffeinated object... If you aren't, like, like, here's the thing, sometimes it's not, like, noticeable, but sometimes it's real noticeable. It's, like, wild how, like, it can go from, oh, I'm good, to, oh, gee, boy, that's something. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Have a great one. Peace.